welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can draw these circular gene ontologies using a website that is called gplot actually this gplot is a similar website like that sr plot so in this example i will show you how we can draw circular gene ontology using this gplot website so what you need you don't need to do any login so you just need to simply click on this get started so you see here here we can upload our data you see there is option to select the file so let me show you how you can prepare your file to make circular gene ontology plot you see here we have different gene ontologies ids then we have biological processes molecular functions and cellular component along their p value then we have total number of genes uh, related to this biological processes then we have up regulated genes and down regulated gene so you can simply uh, save this file in the form of excel I mean the excel file can also be downloaded uh, uploaded and uh, you can also save your file in the form of csv uh, let me yeah you see here uh, csv stand for uh, sorry tsv file you can also save your file in the form of tsv that is tab separated value uh, and uh, you can see here if we can find tab separated yeah here we got tab delimited so which is also similar to the tsv file but i mean uh, for the present example maybe we don't need to export any file because even the excel files can be uh, uploaded so uh, let's we can upload this file uh, we can go to desktop and here you see here we have just stored our this excel example file so let me upload this and open this so after you have uploaded this uh, you see your graph is i mean available to download and from here you can just simply click on view to see your which type of data has been uploaded so we can also go back and we can restore the original uh, drawing and here we have example data for each one and from here maybe we can select the canvas the good thing about this g plot in is that if you want to move this key to this side and maybe if you want to move these things anywhere so it is easily editable and from here you can select your x-axis and y-axis and from here you can select your background i mean whatever you want so if you want to implement that back color so you can let's suppose in this i want to make it red so you see it's now the background is red but if you want to turn it off you can simply uncheck this then we have richness factor and i will i will just leave it as default for my initial videos then we have ids bg genes differentially expressed genes and the last most important we have excel uh, and the last we have most important i mean the export so you see here we can control the fonts family i mean scalabri and times new roman and haiti sc so if you want to change it to times new roman so you can again switch this so you see here it has changed to the uh, times new roman but let's go back and turn it off and from here we can select uh, in the form of pdf eps png or transparent png so maybe in this example we can choose pdf and we, we can simply uh, save this you see here and now they are asking to to follow their official account but it is totally up to you if you want to follow for future so you can simply download this so it will be totally free and you can use this figure for your research article so hopefully uh, similar to the sr plot website this 
Gplot website is going to be very useful for students who love to do their analysis through web tool. So hopefully uh, now you have an idea how you can draw circular enrichment map or gene ontology map using this Gplot website. If you have still any question in its use, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.